Exodus 28 begins, Now take Aaron, your brother, and his sons with him from among the children of Israel, that he may minister to me as priest, Aaron and Aaron's sons. And you shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, for glory and for beauty. And the remainder of this chapter describes the priestly garments and gives very specific instructions on how they should be made. First was the ephod, an ornate handcrafted apron-like garment embroidered with blue and purple and scarlet thread. Next, the breastplate, a garment connected to the ephod and worn over the priest's heart, representing God's great love for his people. Then the robe, a blue seamless covering with bells sewn into the hem. You would hear them ring as the priest was ministering before God. And there are many more garments mentioned here in Exodus 28. But as we've just celebrated Easter, this chapter reminded me of a comparison I read between these garments, the priest garments, and the clothes Jesus, our high priest, wore through his trial and crucifixion. Jesus wore no purple ephod only a purple robe for mocking. Jesus had no precious gems on his shoulder, only a cross that we deserved. Jesus had no breastplate with Israel on his heart, yet he died with a broken heart for Israel and for all mankind. Jesus had no seamless robe that was not torn, but one that was stripped away at the cross. So let's remember this today about our great high priest, Jesus didn't come to us wearing glorious, beautiful, priestly garments. He came humbly as a man to identify with you and I and to save us from our sins. As it says in the book of Hebrews, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need.